it's open house time and you want to share all of your students' digital work uh, with parents but um, don't have access to um, computers everywhere in your classroom. Well, you can easily make QR codes for all your students. Now, if they're older students, they can generate QR codes themselves uh, fairly easily, but this is a young class I'm working with and I want to show you this neat trick. First, you have to make sure that they have their share settings that anyone who has a link can access. The next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to collect all those links. So I created a Google form where they insert their name and a link to their digital portfolio. Now when you're ready, you can click on the edit button and go into edit the form. And at this point, now you can see where their responses are. I have 25 responses, but I don't want to see them in this format. I want to click on view responses and sheets. So here are all of the responses, um, all in one location. Uh, you can see there's a timestamp, their name, and a link to their um, digital portfolios. Now before we do this um, trick with QR code generator, we're going to turn all these URLs into QR codes pretty quickly. We need to set up our um, spreadsheet. We need to make sure column A and column B have two specific things. And the first thing is column A must have all of the links to the digital portfolios. So I'm going to click on, right now they're sitting in column C, and when I have the hand on that column, I'm going to slide it over. So all of the URLs are now in column A. The next thing I need is I need all of the students' names to be in column B. So I'm going to select where they are right now, which is C, and I'm going to slide them over. Now I'm going to leave the timestamp there because it doesn't really matter uh, because I'm not going to be accessing that column. The last thing I need to do is fix what is in um, row one because it does not want to see any kind of text here. So I'm going to put in um, just any kind of URL just to um, uh, fool, the, fool the form here. So there I put in the URL to this actual spreadsheet and instead of name I'm going to put my name so that I knew I know that that is um, the fake, the fake one right there. All right, so the next thing I need to do is get the add-on. So I'm going to click on add-ons up here in the menu bar, and I'm going to go to get add-ons, and I'm going to search for QR code generator. It is this one right here, and I'm going to click free. And the next thing it's going to do is um, request access, uh, which I have to click allow for this to work. So now I have it added in and I'm ready to create my QR codes. So I click on add-ons again, there's the QR code generator, and start. Now I have a couple of um, I selections I need to make. Uh, I'm going to keep these QR codes as a large version because I want them to be fairly big. We're going to cut them apart and put them on note cards that the kids will decorate and then we can staple them to the wall so parents can use their cell phones and a QR code scanner and see the students portfolios. I'm going to save it as a document for now and as a PNG and I'm going to make sure I use the second column and a shortened URL. That just The shortened URL just changes the way the QR code looks but I do want to point out that in column, oops, that in column A um, None of these links are shortened URLs. It won't work that way. I've tried it a few times and it always kicks back and makes me fix those. Um, so once I have this selected over here, I can go ahead and click Generate. Uh, but before that, it has instructions that I need to select the two cells that will be uh, generating the information. So uh, first thing will be cell A, which will make the QR code, and then cell B. And what that does is it puts each child's name underneath the QR code that it is generated for, so that when I go to um, print the QR codes and cut them apart, I know whose QR code is whose. So I'm going to now click Generate, and it will begin. It takes just a few moments. If there is an error, then underneath here where it says um, Cancel, it'll show that error. So you know that you have done this correctly when um, it is done uh, generating and you have these um, links here where you can open the document. So if I click this, I can open the document. It's just like a Google Doc. I can rename it. I can change the share settings. But the best part is it has all of my students' QR codes with their names underneath it. So I can print this and cut them apart and have them ready to go for parents to view at Open House. Hope this is helpful.